Good morning, people of God. Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it and be glad about it. Come on in the room. Woo! We got us a good live this morning, y'all. Come on in the room. I want you to get ready with me while we do this today. I got a good word for you. Good morning. Woo! Glory! Let the joy of the Lord be your strength this morning. Woo! Sometimes I just get up and it's a little extra sugar in my cup. That's how I woke up this morning. I said, Lord, I woke up with fresh fire this morning. God, I bless your name. Woo! We talking about Moses. You got it. You got it. Come on. What's in your hand? Hey, hey, do you have everything that you need in life right now? Come on. And I know a lot of us that love God, we're going to say, yes, we have what we need as long as we have God. But wait a minute. Just a little bit more. Do you have everything you want this morning? Come on. Woo. We about to talk about Moses. What's in your hand this morning? Come on. We kingdom kids. We ain't supposed to be broke, y'all. Y'all know. Woo. Glory. The joy of the Lord is my strength this morning. He just reminded me this morning, what's in your hand? Come on. Woo. What is in your hand? Don't be broke for no reason, y'all. I don't believe it. Listen, greater is he that lives in me than he that lives in the world. The same power that raised Christ Jesus from the dead, it lives in me. Come on, you ain't about to be broke. Come on, the same power that raised Christ Jesus from the dead, it lives in you. You can't live defeated when the same power that got him up got you up. Come on. Woo. I feel like skating this morning. I don't even skate that much, but I feel like it a little bit. Woo, glory. What's in your hand this morning, y'all? I want you to think back over your life. What's the thing that you do easy? What's the thing that you just get up in the morning and if you, you could get paid for doing the thing you do for free, what would that thing be? Woo! We are kingdom kids. My daddy is the king of kings. Come on, I'm a whole princess out here. Come on, you a princess. Yes, God, you a prince. Come on. Woo, glory. Share, like, invite your friends. All that good stuff this morning. Come on. Yes, God. Woo, glory. I told somebody, I said, if you ever see my bank account on paper and the way I live on paper, it don't make no sense. But the Lord truly does supply all my needs. Come on, according to his riches and his glory. But there's a little bit more that we're going to tap into this morning. Woo. He said he comes so that we can have life and have it more abundantly. All right. Woo, let me calm down because I ain't going to get no but nothing done. I'm just stirred up this morning, y'all. Okay, so. Let's see here. Yes, God, we're going to talk about going and get our blessing this morning. What is in your hand? What is in your hand? This is not the time. Yes, we are in times and it's a whole lot of crazy stuff going on around us. But at the end of the day, God has still gifted you. He has still anointed you with the gift that he gave you. Come on. Listen, my gift worked in sin. Gifts and callings are already our repentance. And right now, I'm not talking about preaching, praying, and prophesying. I'm talking about your talents. Your natural talents, the things. You might cook an egg sandwich better than anybody that ever cooked an egg sandwich. Come on in the room. Listen, I'm going to tell you, you got to be the solution. I'm going to get ready with y'all while I'm talking this morning because I got, I got to go do some things wonderful in the world today. But... You have to be the solution to a problem that someone has, okay? You have to be a solution. So, I don't know, um, okay, listen, you about to make me shout, Courtney, you're showing out. Listen, even though it's a pandemic, we ain't missing no meals. I know I need to lose about 10, 15 pounds myself. So, I surely am telling the truth. You're telling the truth. Even when it started, the Lord told me, he said, even in a famine, my people will prosper. And I don't know your testimony, but I got blessed real good all year last year. Okay? And so, I just believe that the Lord is still doing what he said that he was going to do. But it takes your participation. What is in your hand? If you ever learn how to be a solution to the problem, you'll never be broke. I just believe that. I just believe that. Um, all right, so I've already washed my face this morning. We haven't done a get ready with me in a minute, but we're going to do a get ready with me. So I've already washed my face. I've already used my faith oil this morning on my face. If you have not purchased your faith oil, it's a product that I make. It's a three-in-one beauty oil. 
It's good for skin. It's good for hair growth, nail growth, um, all that good stuff. So definitely pick you up some. So, um, whoo. Ah, Lord, have mercy. Listen, help the people of God. You want to see me shout? Listen, I just I already did a little of it because God is faithful. He's a good God. I don't necessarily shout on cue. I shout when it hit me. God, I bless your name. Whew. Yes, God. But he has called us to, to um, the abundant life. No, it's not about having a million dollars all the time. But some of us going to have some million dollars. Come on, Solomon. You know about Solomon? Listen. The thing that I love about Solomon, I took note from Solomon. I don't know if you know about or believe in naming your seed, but I believe in naming my seed. So there was, in my brokest season, come on in the room, uh, when I would tithe, I would write, um, I always write on the envelope what I was believing God for. And the one thing I've always put was wisdom. God give me wisdom. And then I was reading one day how the Bible says that the, that that. Solomon asked for wisdom and the Lord told him because you've asked for wisdom I'm going to give you more I'm going to give you the increase I'm going to give you riches and fame to go along with it but he did not give Solomon riches and fame for his for Solomon's own good but to glorify God and so I remember asking God one time I said Lord I said listen give me uh influence among what the world calls great people, because we're all great people. If you, we the, we are the great people. Y'all don't look at yourself wrong, baby. When I step in the room, when everybody's celebrities, baby, I, the kingdom of God lives in me, so I'm still the great person in the room. God, I bless your name. So don't see yourself wrong. Don't see yourself too small. Okay. So, um, so the thing about it is, I said, Lord, give me influence among what the world considers great people. So that when they ask, how did you get this? Was your mama rich? Was your daddy rich? No, I can say it was nothing but the glory of God. Come on, I just followed the path that people didn't think was right. They said, that ain't how you do it. And how many times you're going to get married? And how many times you're going to move? And that don't seem right. And you just get up and go. Come on, when they ask, how did I get where I am? I'm going to say it was nothing but the grace of God. He said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. All right. So you got to get to that place where you use your gift. What are you great at? What are you naturally gifted at? What's the thing you've done since you were little? One of my things I've done besides Harriet Coleman, I've always taught. I love being a teacher. When I was little, I used to care. When people would come over my house, they couldn't even play with toys unless they sit down and let me teach them a lesson first. <laughs> so I've been doing this all my life. You know, our gifts are the things that God puts in our heart. He said he knew you before he formed you in your mother's womb. And so when he formed you in your mother's womb, we're looking at that scripture too small. When he, okay, drawing, I'm going to need you to draw unto the glory. God, I bless your name. Listen, give me one of your drawings. The inbox me. Give me one of your drawings. Because I want to help you get where you're going. Oh, why my pencil want to break this morning? I want to help you get where you're going. That's one of my gifts. My, I have a gift to help groom and grow people. Um, not only spiritually, but business-wise. And I believe if the kingdom of God ever came together, and we really put our gifts in one pot. We're going to see something, y'all. Because see, somebody out here is, uh, somebody's really good with clothes. Somebody else is good with marketing. Somebody else is good with accounting. God, I bless your name. And if everybody does their part, whew, listen, we can blow minds. My daddy always told me this. He said, you got more time than you got money until you got more money than you got time. Okay. So until that happens, I have done, had to do a lot of free stuff. Building my career, I've been a salon, I've been a stylist since I was 12 years old. And I've done a lot of free stuff. I would go to beauty, beauty, uh, not beauty schools. I would go to um, bridal shows. And I would go to bridal shops. And when they would have bridal shows, I would ask them if I could do the hair and makeup for free. And just in order to put my card on their table. So there are ways, there are strategies, but if we're so busy focusing on that we don't have it and we broke and what somebody did to us and when we was raped when we was little and when we was mistreated and abused, listen, I don't have time, okay? And you don't either. I don't have time to be worrying about what somebody did, baby. I need my mind for going forward, for getting those things that are behind you, pressing forward to the mark of the high calling. What is in your hand? So what are we talking about this morning? All right. You don't know. It's a gift that you have. And the thing about when you're truly gifted, it's not uh, 
of course, the world, they require their own certifications for so on and so forth and different things. But baby, I was gifted to do this. Baby, I was doing her in the womb. God, I bless your name. Come on, I came out talking and bossing people around. They said I was bossy since I was little. My God. I wasn't bossy. I was just giving instructions. Woo! Yes, I believe in therapy. I do. I believe it's a blessing. Um, yes, God. That's actually why I got into life coaching. Because it's definitely my gift. The gift of counsel. The Bible calls it the gift of counsel. So, yes, I do believe in that. Oh, wow, well, y'all. What's in your hand? You know, what is in your hand? When you really tap into your gifts, you don't have time. I believe in getting people's hands busy. Um, I believe in getting people's hands busy. You don't have the time. You don't have as much time for sin when you're really in purpose. Okay? You don't have time to be worrying about who didn't do right. You ain't got time to go to the nightclub. God, I bless your name. Um, for life coaching, you can inbox me here on TikTok or my, my email address is aj at makeover, M-A-K-E-O-V-A-T-C dot O-R-G. aj at makeover, T-C dot O-R-G. Um, but you can definitely catch, catch me on any of the platforms that you're watching me on. Uh, yeah, I love it. But you got to understand that what, what is the gift? What, what gift is in your hand that you've been doing all your life? I'll tell you a, a gift that I think that y'all that cook real good, I mean real good, God, I bless your name, and do it effortlessly, God, I bless your name. There's a great need for people who um, who cook and can cook for families. There's a lot of me as a as a as a single mother being busy working all day by the time i get home yes i would love for my children to have a home cooked meal yes that's right that's my that's my email address thank you so much for putting that up on the screen um me as a single mother i would love for my children to have a um home cooked meal i would love that but i'm busy but I would pay for that service for someone to make a family-sized portion, not McDonald's, come on in the room, not Burger King, God, I bless your name, but somebody just cooking home-cooked meals. Well, how do I get that business started? You cook a good meal, God, I bless your name. You get you some small containers. You get you a business card, God, I bless your name, and you go around to neighborhoods where there are families. Come on in the room, people of God. I know COVID is in the land, but I can't worry about none of those things because you are going to be a solution to somebody's problem. I'm just telling you what I know. You, have, If you ever figure out the problems around you and how to be a solution, you will tap into income because this is what the Lord reminded me this morning. I know a lot of us are not, we are financially challenged, let's say it that way, but everybody ain't broke. Yee! My God, everybody ain't broke. That's what I want you to know. You know, we need we need male mentors. That's another really big one. I, if I could have paid for a good one, I would have. I would have. I just didn't have any to pay for. I couldn't. The free ones didn't do good and I couldn't find no paid ones. But we need male mentors for our boy children that have actually accomplished something. They have come up. Uh, that have overcome something. Come on. We need some men that will tell their story. We need some workshops for young men. See, it's not that we're broke. We're spending our money on the wrong things. You better get you a YouTube video, honey, and figure out how to do your own makeup. It surprises me. I still listen because everybody ain't broke. I still do it. I still do makeup. God, I bless your name. $75 a face, $95 a face, whatever. But it just surprises me that you're paying that much for me to put this crap on your face that you about to wash off in a, a, a day, in the end of the day. But God is faithful. It's a gift. Sometimes, I'm going to tell you a testimony. I had a lady that used to do my nails. And... I would pay her. She charged $125 for a set of nails, not including a pedicure. And she didn't even do that. I do my own nails. She didn't even do that great of a job. But I loved her conversation. I loved her company. I loved the atmosphere. See, this is what my grandma taught me at a young age. She came to my house one time, and I was doing a little girl's hair. I was doing her when I was back in, uh, I've been doing her since I was, I feel like since I was born. But I was doing a girl's hair, and my grandma, when the little girl left, my grandma said, well, why didn't, why did you have her turned away from the mirror? And I said, well, grandma, she don't need to see how my secrets are, how I do everything. She said, baby, they can, they can, 
watch you do it. They can imitate the skill. They will never be able to do it like you do it. Eee! They're not you. You bring you. You're not selling whatever the thing is that you're selling. You might make good peach cobbler. You might, but it ain't about that. They're purchasing your smile, your personality, your look. Come on, your presence. That's why you can't worry. All right, you can put me in a row, okay? Put my salon in a row of 75 salons. Baby, I'm going to walk in the all dolled up experience every day with my head high and not missing a meal by the time I leave that day. Because I'm not selling hair. The experience is me. Oh, my God. Come on. I didn't say I was the best that ever did it. I don't think I am. Not in makeup, but in her, you can't really beat me. That's that's my area. But people come for the experience. They come because they know I'll put that brush down in a minute, baby, and lay hands on you. Come on, I'm going to give you an encouraging word. I've never had a person that come in and, and didn't leave out uplifted. Because if the I tell them all the time, if the only thing you get while you are here in my salon is a good hairstyle, I have not done my job. And you have not received the best that I have to offer. Ooh, God, I bless your name. I'm trying to tell you what I live, y'all. What is in your hand? What is the thing that you do naturally? Do people come to you from for just a random advice? That means you have the gift of counsel. It's being activated. Ooh, it's being at Why do people, what is the thing that people come to you for? That's how you know your gift. I'm tired of people coming. Baby, the gift is being activated. They have located a source in you. Ooh. Mm, mm, mm. I love the Lord. He's kind. He's a good God, y'all. He's perfect in all of his ways. He's good to us. We really have a good daddy, y'all. We really do. We really do. If you ever tap into what's in your hands, come on, then you will not, you won't be depressed. You won't be, because you'll be too busy. When people are sitting up, just focus on the bad things. It's because you have not tapped in to what you, what you do great. I want us to move forward in our thinking. We got to progress in the way that we process. We got to progress in the way that we process. Yeah. Listen, you should go into life coaching. Life coaching, is your natural gift. When you're gifted to do it, it ain't even about the certificate. It really, I guess I believe in certifications and all of them things. But baby, I've been doing this before I've been doing this. It's just the gift that God put in me. What is in your hands? What is in your hands? And you know, what I love about God is that I just, my gifts work together ministry and business they work together for me you know they go together it's not just one people come for the hairstyle they get a little god come on in the room they come for the god they get a little they get a little a little glam so they work together and if you ever find out how to intertwine it now you got action i've never had to do no whole lot of advertising i've never had to do no whole lot of one i never really i just i just never did it's always been word of mouth Okay, it's always been word of mouth and just whoever. I always say the Lord makes my hair appointments. I always say that. I've had people randomly walk in for just regular things. I had a lady just last week walk in. And she came in. She wants, She just seen the sign. And she's like, oh, you do eyebrows? And she came in at right, just the right time. I did her eyebrows. But as I was doing her eyebrows, I felt the glory fall. And as the glory fell, I said, oh, ma'am, I got to pray for you before you leave and as we was we got in the circle we prayed the power of god fell she was trembling under the power of the lord listen and i believe that the lord completed a work that she was telling me about that he had already just started in her so we got to be willing to use what is in our hand all for the glory of god is somebody out there praying hard fervently my god is somebody out there praying hard for the very gift that you bring to the earth that nobody else has brought your personality to? Come on. Understand me correctly. They can do what you do. They can do what you do. But no one has brought your personality, your face, ooh, your presence, what you bring to a room. Ooh, I was just telling my mama that this morning. My mother is hilarious. Lord have mercy. She is interesting her personality is big it always has been but you got to find the right container your personality is what sells let me get another mascara because this one is not good 
What product have you been making that's in your family all your life? You don't need a whole lot, y'all. I believe God's going to blow on that one thing you put before him. Maybe you make the best peach cobbler and banana pudding in the whole half world. It's your great, 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 great granny's recipe. Make you about four big pans. Go to the plant where you work, at, uh, where you live. Maybe the Ford plant, the truck plant, whatever uh, place. I'm ready to put my wig on. That's why I got my bonnet on. Bless God, baby. I look good with the bonnet and with it. Don't get it twisted. Yes, God. It's just the information. Get the information. People don't worry about the package. But go to the place where a lot of people work at. Go to the welding yard. Go to and pass it out with a business card on top. Listen, I learned that from my ex-husband who sold drugs. He taught me a lot. I had a, when I moved to a new city, that's what I do. I go to a new city. I, well, I'm, I, I offer a few free hairstyles. All I need is you to sit in my chair once. I ain't never had not a return customer. Sit in my chair once and you're going to come back. So you offer it free at first and then you come on, they come on back. I'm trying to tell you about the Lord, honey. He's good. He's a good God. Okay. Let me give you some scripture because I want you to make sure you're getting this uh -huh. lesson, y'all. I want you to get what you come for this morning. I just want to encourage somebody today. Don't be broke for no reason. We kingdom kids. Don't be broken. Yo, thinking, quit thinking. Love ain't going to find you because that ain't that's going to find you too. But it ain't going to find you. See, you have to be in purpose. I asked the Lord. I said, Lord, let my husband find me in my obedience unto you. Let my husband find me in my obedience. And when I tell you, who glory, the man, the God done came on in the room, y'all. Who and he fine, too. Let's not, we'll talk about that another time. <laughs> Ooh, somebody said, girl, you're glowing. I said, well, bless God. The Lord is kind and he's faithful. All right, Exodus 4. Exodus 4. Let's go to Exodus 4 this morning, y'all. Get your word out for real quick. Let's get it. Let's get let's get this Bible. Listen, you got to know how to multitask. You know them people that say they say jack of all trades, master of none. I don't believe in that saying. I think that's for people that don't know how to multitask. You can't be a single mama and not know how to multitask. Come on, you got to know how to do two, three, four things at a time, or you're not gonna be able to get it done. But the way that the reason we can't multitask effectively is because our mind is too tied up with other crazy things, worrying about stuff and not forgiving people and who did you wrong, who owe you money. Or oh, baby, I can't worry about none of that stuff. I got to keep my mind moving in an upward flow so that I can get what I need from God. Come on in the room. Nakia, I hope y'all got some, I hope y'all been flourishing right now. I don't know what y'all been doing. I ain't talked to you, woman of God, but I pray that y'all been flourishing because I know that God has put so much money in the palm of your hand and all y'all got to do is be able to access it. Come on. Don't be distracted by the crowd in this season. Woo! Don't be distracted by the foolishness, by the hurt, the upset, none of that, baby. What is in your hand? All right, Exodus 4. Exodus 4 and 1 says, but Moses protested again. What if they don't believe me or listen to me? What if they say the Lord never appeared to you? Then the Lord asked him, what is in your hand? A shepherd's staff is what he, he recognized what was in his hand. God, I bless your name. Throw it down on the ground, the Lord said. First, you have to recognize what's in your hand, what tool that I have that can bring me income. Then the Lord told him, throw it down on the ground. Then you have to receive the instruction from God on how to use that thing, how to use it in the way that's going to bring him glory and bring you income. God, I bless your name. It's, it's going to work together for the good of those that love the Lord and for his glory. His glory, you get the benefits. You get the paycheck. God, I bless your name. Make sure you tithe on that what he's blessing you with. All right. Throw it down on the ground, the Lord told him. So Moses threw the staff down on the ground and it turned into a snake. Moses jumped back. I promise you're going to jump back. Come on. The Lord is going to open you up. Amen. That's good. He's going to open you, open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. You ain't got room enough to receive. If you are willing to go out there, step out on a branch, do that thing that God has put inside of your belly. Since you were a little princess, since you were a little king, God, I bless your name. Come on. He's going to blow on it. You got to give God something to blow on and you're going to jump back. Hey, my God. 
Lord have mercy. It's so many calls. I can't keep up with the sales. God, they asking me to speak here. They asking me to speak there. I can't even put nobody else on my roster. My God, I got to get now. I got to actually take this business that has started in my kitchen. And now I got to take it and I got to get a building for it because now it has outgrew me. I done jumped back. I love the word of God, y'all. Do you love the word of God? It's good. Oh, my God. Then, then the Lord told Moses, reach out and grab its tail. There will be more instructions. Don't get to that place where you're, you've gotten to your God assignment. You've gotten to the place of blessing. But then you stop listening to God. You got to stay listening for his voice. Because the instruction will continue to come along the way. It's just like marriage. When people say, oh, you know, the Lord sent me my husband. The Lord sent me my wife. And then y'all never put the Lord in it. The whole time y'all marry, you get off track. You're now worried about the flesh and the physical. And you're never going back to the throne of grace with your man of God or your woman of God. You're not praying together. You're not fasting together. You're not going to church together. You're not worshiping together. God, I bless your name. Then you wonder why you're going to the left and to the right. Because I just believe if you stay connected in the spirit, you ain't got to have no fortune teller to tell you what your man is doing. You ain't got to have no fortune teller, no horoscope to tell you what your woman is doing. All you got to do is tap you into heaven and Lord going to give you a download. I'm trying to listen, my man of God is 10 hours away. I called him one day. I said, baby, I just smelled your cologne. He said, baby, I just sprayed some on. <laughs> Woo, glory. I'm just trying to tell you about God, y'all. Trying to tell you about God. Then the Lord told Moses, reach out and grab his tail. So Moses reached out and grabbed it, and it turned back into a shepherd's staff in his hand. Whoo! My God. The Lord is going to use your gift in a way that blesses so many. Don't be afraid to use what God has already put in you, purposed you, and ordained you to do in the earth. Perform this sign, the Lord told him. Then they will believe that the Lord, your God, who, that the Lord, the God of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob really has appeared to you. See, this is the thing. A lot of people were mocked in the world because people feel like, oh, y'all need God. Y'all broke. <laughs> you need God. You better have a prayer life because you're broke. My God. But when you get to that place, see, it's hard to minister to broke people with a broke income. God, I bless your name. It's possible. All things are possible. My God. But it's a whole nother thing when you can say, girl, I used to be homeless. I used to be broke. Been divorced. My God. Three different times. Come on. Kids went to the left, went to the right. Girl, how you get the house? You know, I ain't no big houses and car person but it's the proof it's the proof it's the proof my testimony to God is always Lord show me what you can do to a life that is submitted to you God with an open hand my God show me what you can do with a life that continues to say yes to your will continues to say yes to your way in spite of how it looks to others come on Woo. I'm just trying to tell you y'all I love the Lord I'm stirred up this morning I love the Lord he's kind what is in your hand? Some of you have the gift of administration. Nakia, that's one of your strongest gifts, honey. You had me organized through a text message and you was, at, you was help calling for my help. When I tell you, if you ever learn to figure out how to use the gift, how to take the instruction from the Lord, I promise I woke up this morning. I couldn't, I couldn't even, I was like, Lord, I can't even go to sleep because it, it started last night, but the download hit in the middle of the night. And I woke up this morning and couldn't even quite her up and get it together because I just, I just had to get started on my new assignment. You know, I said this, the Lord said right now, doors, we're in a season where doors are open and doors are closing. So you want to be in the right place. You want to be positioned for what God is doing and where he is taking you to. You cannot be distract, distracted by foolishness. Either this is for everybody in my life. Either you going with me or I got to leave you. And it ain't personal. It's not personal. I can't be bogged down with your issues, your problems. I'm not listening to those four-hour conversations about who didn't do your right. Baby, you better sign up for a life coaching session. Pay me an hour of my time. God, I bless your name. I'm going to listen for that hour. We're going to talk back and forth, and then I'm going to hang up. And even with that, even with that, if I feel like that I'm not helping you push forward in life, now you're wasting my time. And it's somebody out there that wants to hear the word, that needs to be pushed, that is willing to do what it takes to get where they're going. And I can't waste my time. Don't waste your time in this season, y'all. This ain't the season to waste time. What is in your hand? 
What is in your hand? Go back to the story in the Bible of the parable of the talents. One, the Lord gave 10 talents. One, he gave five. And one, he gave one. The one he gave one, he buried his talent. Don't bury your talent. It's the way that people will find God. Not everybody. The Lord told me when he gave me my salon, he took me to a new area. And this salon was the most expensive salon I had ever had. And I was like, God, I'm just now getting back from being paralyzed. It was right after he healed me. And I was like, God, I never seen nobody walk in healing. What if it don't work? What happens if it's not? But I had to trust God and I had to do it afraid. And he told me, he said, everybody won't go into the church. Everybody's not going into the church. But when they come in here, tell them about me. And that's what we do at the All Dolled Up Experience. That's what we do. One lady told me, she said, a lot of salons are known for the gossip, but your salon is known for the gospel. I said, amen. You know, I have people that come and sit in my chair that, in, even when I was in the world, I had people come and sit in my chair that didn't even like me, did not like me at all. But they love how I comb her, so they would come and they would sit there and get that blessing. So I have people, when I want to minister to you, let me do your hair. Come on. You got to know what, what's your gift. When the Lord told Samuel to go anoint David, Samuel said, well, how am I going to get in? The Lord told him, take a heifer. Come on, take a heifer to the temple. What is your heifer? Ooh, what's the thing that gets you in the door to do your God assignment? I'm, her just gets me in the door. Come on. Fashion, beauty, whatever that thing, it just gets me in the door. But when I get in, I'm bringing the glory. I'm going in, I'm finding that one. My God, I, I, I go in and then I see her anointing his. Which one, God? Which one? Which one? No, not him. Come on. I know they chose him. I know they said he was good. They said he was the best. My God, my seer anointing kicks in. Woo! I hope y'all getting blessed this morning. I really do. I hope y'all getting encouraged this morning because I just believe that God's going to do something so amazing. All, he take, all he's requiring is your participation in this season. And that's all he is requiring. All right, now I'm going to put this good old lash on. Amen. Yes, I love it. Listen, you done blessed me this morning with that because my son, I've had to take him to so many ignorant barbershops. I said, where is the barbershops that I like the all dolled up experience? The little young men of God come in here. They don't need to hear about Beyonce's behind, Nicki Minaj's behind, and Cardi B's so-and-so. So, yes, that's a blessing. People don't always want to come in an establishment. You get so tired. I get so tired. I went into the hair store the other day. I had to go through deliverance when I got in my car. The music they was playing. What in the world? Children come in here. Do y'all know that? My lash want to be acting ignorant this morning. You know. You can take your one gift. And I just believe you can flip it about five different ways. Y'all better give me a second. My lash is being, being bougie this morning. There we go. Some of y'all, your gift is your words. Your words are your gift. You talk all your life. Don't use your TikTok and your Facebook for sharing dumb stuff. You don't need... This is another thing that I see. Many of you are very gifted, but you lack the confidence to go forth. And so you use, um, you use other people's sound. You will go on there and use somebody else's sound. We're listening for your voice. They already said what they said. We already heard what they said. What you said? Come on. What you said? Woo. All right. Let's listen. Let me tap in. Give me one second to get this lash on. We're going to tap in. That's good. That's my area right there. Hallelujah. You in the, you on the right laugh. Put your name on the screen for me. That one that just said you canceled your physical therapy uh, session. Put your name on the screen for me. Please. Hallelujah, you're in the right place. Hallelujah. God, I bless your name. Thank you, Lord. Yes, God. 
Devin, all right, amen. Well, we touch and agree today, oh God. We bless your name. We thank you for Devin today, God. We thank you that his healing has met him today, God. We ask that you go in and touch his spine right now. We ask that you do a supernatural surgery, God. I bless your name. Touch him today, God. From the top of his head to the soles of his feet, may the blood of Jesus cover you this day and align every crooked thing in your spine. We align it right now in the spirit, not by power, not by might, but only by the, the, the power of God and the spirit of the Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that it is done. It is so in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, that you are able. Thank you, God, that you will be a testimony. God, I bless your name. He will have a testimony that God did this thing for me. Hallelujah. It is so and it is done in Jesus' name. Amen. Woo, glory. Yes, God. That's good right there, y'all. That's good. I have seen that one right there. I had a lady um, was at church with me. And she had um, her something, her bone and her something in her back or something was turning. And so what was happening was it, it, the bone was growing crooked and the way it was growing, it was getting ready to sever that nerve. She had a surgery scheduled for Tuesday. That Sunday when the anointing hit, the Lord told me to put my hand on her back. And I began to pray. And I began to pray. We believed God. We went on home. You know, I didn't feel no big joke. I wasn't no, you know, sometimes we get caught up. Do I feel anything? But that ain't that ain't about it. It's do you believe? It's your faith. She went back to the doctor on Wednesday. And when she came back from the doctor, they canceled the surgery. They went back in the x-ray. They said the bone is straight. Hey, glory. The bone is straight. What in the world? I'm trying to tell you, I love God. His miracles, all we got to do is believe. Ooh, that was so powerful, y'all. I said, no. -uh. I said, listen, that's that's amazing. I just be believing God. That's it. You know, that's it. That's all we got. So I'm excited about y'all's future. I'm excited about the testimonies that are going to come. I'm excited about where God is taking you in this season. You got to watch and pray. And when I say watch, watch what you're supposed to be doing. Keep your eyes on the prize and keep it moving. This ain't the time to get discouraged. This ain't the time to not be in faith. This is the time to use your gift. This ain't the time to look at your bank account and see how broke it is. This is the time to look at your bank account and see how much increase you need and then go to God with your gifts and put them before the throne of grace and let God blow on them. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, God. Amen. I'm so glad. All right. Okay, let's pray. All right. All right. I'm, I am doing my makeup, y'all, but listen, I'm a, I'm, I'm a full-time in the spirit person of God, so feel free to definitely... I'm going to go back through my comments when I'm done. Amen. Woo, glory. We about to pray for your eyes. Let me get my lash on straight out. We're going to be praying for both our eyes with these tweezers close to my eye. Amen. So this is what we do at the All Dolled Up Experience all day. We do a little hair. We stop. We bombard heaven. We believe God. We touch and agree in faith. We go back to doing hair. We go back to doing whatever those things are that we doing in the salon that day. Put your name on the screen, that person that said they want prayer for their eyesight. Please. Hallelujah. Ooh, uh, woman of God on TikTok, your name is All Things Mari. What's your, what's your real name? I just know that God is really doing something in and through you. I just know he is. And your suffering has is not been in vain. Mary. Okay. Amen, girl. Your name is all blessed and things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. The person that said you wanted prayer for your eyes, I don't know if you're still here, but I'm still waiting for you to put your name on the screen. We are touching and agreeing with you. Amen. Okay. So you said, um, I'm I, Mary, I ain't forget you, but you said, you, you know, God is giving you a gift, but you ask him to blow on your confidence. See, the thing about it is you got to be willing to do it afraid. Um, Alonzo, uh, Alfonso. Okay. Um, you got to be willing to do it afraid. It's okay. You know, it's not going to be comfortable all the time. 
And when you're uncomfortable, you actually are good. I'm not people think y'all think I'm just, oh, she's comfortable. She does this for she's it's no, I don't actually I like to be the person behind the chair doing the woman of God's hair and makeup, not being the one in the chair, talking and preach, praying and prophesying. But when the Lord showed me why I had to do it and the lives that are changed when I do it, it pushes me and encourages me to do it. All right, let's pray for Alfonso right now. Lord, we thank you. We thank you that you are able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above what we can think, ask, or imagine, God. We thank you that you are our exceeding great reward, Lord. We ask that you touch today the man of God where he is, right there in his home, wherever he is, Lord. We ask that you touch him today, God. We ask that you touch his eyes. We ask that you do that miracle that you did in blind Bartimaeus. God, we know that you are still opening the eyes of the blind. We thank you that you are still able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above more than we can think, ask, or imagine. God, don't just open his natural eyes, but give him even higher, more heightened discernment in the spirit to see you, to see what you're doing, God, to see angels, to see demons, even God, to see those things that are before him, those warning signs, those open doors, those closed doors. We believe it in faith. We release it right now by the power of God. We thank you, Lord, by your spirit. We ask that you go touch, set free, heal, and deliver in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, for it is so and it is done. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Ooh, glory. Thank you, God. Ooh, Jesus. Ooh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Ooh, Jesus. Glory. Ooh, thank you, Lord. Bless your name, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. That done got me stirred up. That done got me stirred up. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Ooh, my God. Thank you, Lord. Ooh, that, done, that blessed me right there. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. All right, Mary, back to you. So I, I just believe that um, you have definitely been through a lot of things in your life and it's only for the glory of God. And you have been, uh, the pressure has been so great that it, that it, that word was so for you last night. I can't believe it. I don't remember if you were tuned in last night. I think you were, but uh, the pressure has been so great because if you stop, you don't know what's attached to you. There are so many people that are waiting on you and the enemy is trying to get you to stop. It takes me back to a time. Um, okay. I need to give me a pencil. It takes me back to a time when I, I was laying in my bed during that time that I was paralyzed and I wanted to take my own life. Matter of fact, I, I tried it. I was on 10 different medications. So I took, I retch over, grabbed me a whole bunch of pills. I, I smoked me some weed that night. I drank me some wine. Uh, I drank me some, some other kind of drink. I don't know what I was drinking at the time, but I, I got real drunk, real high. And I took all as much as medicine that I could take, but I still woke up in the morning. And I didn't even have a hangover and I didn't even have a headache. My God. And so the Lord reminded me that I had to preserve your life for a time such as this. And so if there are some, listen, the, the lives that I encourage today, I wouldn't be here. Not that God would not use someone else, but I'm talking about what he's doing through my life, through your life. Okay. And so the enemy has tried to make you stop. He has tried to make you stop. Um, because he knows that the anointing on your life is great. Oh my God. We want to pray for Bonnie. But first of all, let me get my hair on y'all. Let me tell you a little bit of process right quick. And then we're going to pray for Bonnie. Let me turn my flat iron on. Been better than good. Hallelujah. All right. Let me turn my iron up. So I do sell this iron. It's an uh, all dialed up bling iron. It goes up to, um, 400 and I believe 60. Nope, it goes up to 470, 480. Goes up to 480. Um, it is pretty. It comes in black, comes in white, comes in pink. All right, so I got my hair braided. Let me get my stocking cap. I've got my hair braided under my cap. Just braided back out of the way. I've used my faith oil on my hair. So ladies, you always want to make sure that you are taking care of, uh, I'm not, I'm not married yet, but I'm courting. My man of God is on her. Y'all he's on her. Bless God. Um, so you want to use your faith oil to make sure that your natural hair and scalp is protected. I always want to go around my edges. I don't, my wigs I make are glueless. 
Many of you don't have to use glue, but if you want to use glue, you can use glue. I just don't believe in using glue because I, my edges are already thin, so I don't need no help. All right, so then I put my stocking cap on. I know some of y'all like, I didn't come for a beauty lesson. Well, you came to the makeover ministry. You might not never know what you're going to get. All right, then I use my anti-slip band. When I tell y'all this band is a blessing, it definitely, um, it, it holds your week. I can sleep in this band. I don't put any, I can shout when on Sunday when you see me blessing God. Y'all know I throw my head back, come on in the room, and my wig stays on. Won't it will? All right. So the inside of all of my wigs, my signature are the inside of them are sewn with pink thread. That's my signature. That's how you know you got an all dolled up uh, wig. Okay, and then I just slip her on on top. Pull on to the edge. Make sure that the edge is laying. And I grab my all dolled up bling brush. And it's really that simple, y'all. <sighs> so this wig is 24 inches, I believe. I call her my Pocahontas. My wigs are very, very flat. She has actually been up in the closet. So I'm gonna show you how I straighten her out. I do sell the, I do sell the band. Um, I sell the wig, I sell the brush, all of that good stuff. All right, so the hair is very wonderful. My wigs, I guarantee them for one year, they last a good year. You may have to replace your lace. It depends on how hard you are on the lace, but um, I've had wigs for myself and other clients have had wigs that last uh, at least a good three years. So this is one product that I use that I don't make that I love. It's called uh, Cantu. Uh, super shine hair silk that's all I use that and I use, I make a product called hair prep you need one of those bands okay definitely hit me up I can get help you get you one of those bands hallelujah all right so I put that product on the thing that I love about it is it keeps the flyaways down but it doesn't weigh the hair down and sometimes I might have put too much and even when I put too much it doesn't um it doesn't uh, make the hair weigh down. It dissipates. So, all right. Hallelujah. So, now that's just fresh out the closet. I ain't put no heat on her. She just been sitting. But we're going to straighten her out a little bit. But I want to pray for Bonnie. I have not forget. Thank you. All right. All right, let's pray. So, you said Bonnie has stage four cancer. So, we want to touch and agree and um, believe God for her for her healing. Lord, we thank you on today, God. We thank you for your grace and your mercy, your peace that surpasses all understanding. We come this morning, Lord, bombarding heaven with faith today, Lord, believing and asking, uh, asking you to do, Lord, what only you can do, to do what the doctors cannot do. We touch and agree uh, today for Bonnie, Lord. We cancel cancer right now in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood from the top of her head to the soles of her feet. We bind that torment in spirit right now by way of the blood and may the love of God surround her this day evicting every cell that is not of God every impure cell every cell that is demonically attacking her body we speak peace over her mind her emotions her family God we thank you for doing it God we thank you Lord for making her a testimony all for the glory of God not by power not by might but only by your spirit we call it done in the name of the Lord hallelujah thank you God and amen thank you Lord Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The Lord is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above what we can think, ask, or imagine. Hey, so I just believe that God is going to do even more than I could even begin to call out today in her, in her family, in her life, and that she will use her life as a testimony unto the Lord. So now I'm just going in. I'm going to straighten out the pieces. Um, one thing that people don't do when they are straightening their hair out is you don't use a comb. You got to use a comb. That helps to get it all wonderful. Okay. This is, I do sell hair individually. This is all dolled up luxury virgin hair. It lasts and lasts and lasts and lasts and lasts with proper care. 
All right, so I'm just going in. I'm not doing the whole, the whole, most of it was good, but because it's been in the closet, just throw it up in there. I needed to go in and straighten it out a little bit. Many of you commented on my curly wig I had on last night. Um, that one is one of my other favorites. Definitely one of my favorites. My wigs start at 450, and like I said, they last and last and last. I do offer layaway. I do offer layaway plan, and my wigs go from anywhere from 12 inch, <clears throat> 12 inch to 30 inches, maybe 36 on some of the, some of the other. Um, some of the some patterns, not every pattern goes to 36 inches. So I do want to come back a little later and do, I want to show you a couple of other, I want to show you some headband wigs and how, not headband wigs, I'm sorry, that's what my wigs I call invisible hairline wigs because I don't sell mine with a headband. Um, you may not want to wear a headband, but if you want to wear a headband, you can wear a headband. All right. So I'm just straightening that, that out to get it a little bit smoother and I'm going to... Uh, go on all right all right we're gonna touch and agree on um go ahead and put your prayer request we're gonna pray and touch and agree with the different things that everybody's got going on and then i'm gonna go on with the day thank you so much all right Now the beautiful thing about wigs that are so amazing, I have a big forehead and it's okay with me. It, it, that's just how the Lord made me. You got to be comfortable with how God made you. But the thing about the lace is if I want to have my big forehead showing, I can pull it back and be great. If I want to what they call lower your hairline, I can bring it down just a tad bit. So that's the beauty. I don't on this one. I don't have any. You can't have baby hair out. It's just. Let me lay my lace down flat. Oh, the lace needs to be flat, y'all. Don't have, don't be out with your lace rolled up on the edge. That ain't good. Sometimes the baby hair gets caught under it, and that's what causes the lace not to lay flat. There we go. All right. And so it is extremely flat. If I wanted to wear it in a ponytail, I could. But look how flat that is. Very, very flat. All right, now let me go through these comments right quick. And we're going to let God be glorified. Let me turn this iron on so I don't burn nothing. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. All right. Let me get my notepad out so I can go down this list right quick. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Whatever you do, do it unto the Lord so that he can bless it, y'all. If you're going to love, love unto the Lord. You know, I tell my man of God I love him I'm, so many times a day. I tell him I thank God for him. I appreciate him. But you know who I talk to even more about him? I talk to him about, I talk to God about him and I tell God, thank you for him because he has been such a blessing to my life in the, the uh, short time that he has been in my life. And I'm looking forward to spending all the rest of my days loving him so good. He ain't going to know what hit him. Glory. <laughs> you got to let that be your heart's desire. Let that be your heart's desire to, to be in people's life in a way that no one ever else did. Bringing the full measure. Um, the full measure of the love of God to your friends and family's lives. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Let's see here. Hallelujah. All right. I will. Hallelujah. All right. So we're doing an altar call right now. So I'm writing it down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless your name, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank 
Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Bless your name, oh great God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Yes, God, I bless your name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yee, glory. Can't I live here? Please live in me. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, God. My way. My ego. Yes, God. Hallelujah. My schedule. Woo, glory. God, I bless your name. Thank you, God. Yes, God. God, I bless your name. Okay. All right, we about to we about to uh, touch and agree, y'all. Hallelujah. Whatever it is. All right. All right. Hallelujah. Go in, people of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Lord, we thank you today, God. We thank you. We bless you. We call you holy. We call you righteous, oh God. We thank you that no problem is too big for you. We thank you that no situation is too big for you, God. We thank you that you are able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above what we can thank, ask, or imagine, God. So even as we come today, God, bringing our request, oh, Lord, your word says that we just got to come humbly, but also come boldly before the throne of grace. And so we come today, oh, God. Your word says if we asked you, come expecting in, your, in our hearts that you're going to do it. We don't come with divided loyalty this morning, God. We believe that the things that we are asking you for today. We believe, God, that it will come to pass. Not maybe how we want it to be, God, but in the perfect way that you have ordained and shaped that situation to turn out, to bring us to that expected end. We come today. We come praying for friends. We come preparing for family. We come praying against the enemy that is coming against our children, God, through the music, through culture, through movies, through the school system, through their learning, God, through the night terrors that bother them in the midnight hour, God, through brokenness, God, we just ask for, for marriage restoration. We believe that you are able to do it, God. We plead the blood. We plead the blood today, God, from the top of each person's head to the soles of their feet, God, those that are tuned in to the broadcast, God. We thank you, Lord. We pray for financial blessings financial blessings, God, for those that are in need, those that are, whose backs are up against the wall, those who have lost jobs, maybe they've lost their, their check or whatever thing that is going on, Lord, you know, you are the source. We have, we may not understand the resources and a resource may have been cut off, but God, we thank you, Lord, my God, we thank you that you are able to do exceedingly and abundantly. We ask that you open up the windows of heaven and pour them out a blessing that they have no room to receive, God. I thank you, Lord. Give them the idea. Sometimes we're waiting on the money and we just need the idea. Give it to them in seed form. God, I bless your name. And when they begin to put their hand to it, God, I bless your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. They will be able to bring forth a harvest. Who Jesus. My God. Mm. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I hear the spirit of the Lord saying access granted. 
but I also hear the Spirit of the Lord saying access denied. So that means there are some doors that are closing and there are some doors that are opening and it's all right. Let those doors close and let the new doors open. God, we thank you today for deliverance for those that need deliverance from whatever that thing that they need deliverance for. God, you know, you know, you know, you ordained us and, and called us and predestined us and chosen us and your word says you put us in right standing with yourself. And so we ask that you touch today, God, those that are that don't know what gift is in their hand. God, we thank you that you are able to, to blow on us. Give us an idea. Your word says that in the last days, you'll pour out your spirit upon all flesh and that your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Old men shall dream dreams and young men shall see visions. And so God, I ask that you give them a dream, give them a vision, give them an idea. Don't let them miss what you're doing in this season, God. Bless them, Lord, to know what is in their hand. We want to pray for those that are that are, are going through those seasons of grief, God. Touch those. Someone said they've had three deaths in this, in, in uh, I believe she said a couple of weeks. And so, God, we just ask that you touch today, God. Comfort. Comfort. Reveal your nature as comforter in this season, God. In this season of loss, God, reveal yourself as comforter. Be their exceeding great reward. We ask that you dispatch angels. God, I bless your name. Cover their heart. Don't let them be drowned in grief, God, but I release the joy of the Lord today. We release the joy of the Lord today. May it be your portion. May it overtake you today. Ooh, glory, may your, ch your clothes be changed today. May you exchange the garment of heaviness for the garment of praise. May you be overtaken by the joy of the Lord. And may people come to you and say, I don't see how you're standing. And you'll be able to say it is only by the grace of God. Thank you, Lord, for updating their testimony. We pray for favor today in those situations that look unfavorable. God, we thank you. Somebody asked for a Solomon blessing. And so, God, we thank you that you're able to do that, God. We thank you that you're able to blow their mind, God. But give them the heart and the mind to stay pure. Because the word of the Lord said that Solomon, he had wisdom, he had money. But he also started dating strange women. And when he started dating them strange women, they turned his heart from God. And so Solomon didn't end up pleasing God at the end of that thing. But God, we thank Thank you that you have already given us an example of what not to do, Lord. So we thank you that they're going to handle the blessing properly. Give them ears to hear and eyes to see what the spirit of the Lord is doing and saying to the church. Give them wisdom, O oh Lord. Allow them to have heightened discernment and don't let them be comfortable outside of your will. We pray for those that are needing confidence to do the things that you have called them to do, God. Let them have your confidence. Help them to know that they're not by your, their self, but greater are you that lives in them. God, I bless your name. Help them to know that you are with them. You said you never leave them. You never forsake them. They ain't by themselves. They're seeing their self too small. God, I bless your name. We pray for those with businesses and ministries that are looking Looking to flourish and, and do the thing that you have set out and ordained them to do, God. We ask that you blow on them. Every business owner that is tuned into the broadcast today, we believe that God is going to blow on your business. If you're willing to give them something to blow on, use what you have. Use what is already in your hand. You might not feel like you have everything that you need, but use what you already have. Go ahead and put it before the Lord and, and release it out into the earth realm and let God blow on that thing. We pray against witchcraft today, God, and anyone that is struggling with with strongholds of witchcraft and mind control, those that are in abusive relationships, those that are under the spirit of seduction. God, I bless your name. Those that are in witchcraft in churches and they can't reach their ceiling and can't go forward to the things that they're trying to do because they're under control. They're under the, a, a heavy hand. God, we ask that you release the ties today. God, we ask that you break soul ties that are not of you in the spirit realm today. God, we thank you that you're able to do it. We believe that you're doing it even now. We pray for bodies on today. Those that are struggling in their body, those with pain and sickness and unexplained illnesses. God, we pray for those who have children that are mentally handicapped. We bind that tormenting spirit right now by way of the blood. We ask that you release God. Release that dumb and deaf spirit from them today. God, I know that you're able to do. I want to pray for somebody that has a withered hand today. Somebody whose hand is mangled. We ask that you just release that those muscles and tissues in their hand today. God, I think and I believe, I know that you're able Able to do it, God. We believe you. Not for some things, but for all things. We believe that you're able to do it, God. We're standing in full faith, in full measure, God. Knowing that if you don't do it, that it won't get done. We bless you. Hallelujah. We call it done. We call it done, God. Ooh, glory. 
we call it done. God, I bless your name. I ask that you send a famine to the prodigal. God, I bless your name. The, the, the famine, let it go out to the prodigal. God, I bless your name. Because when we hit those famine seasons, we got to go back to God. We got to get back to daddy's house. We got to get back to mama's house. And so, God, I just want to pray even for those parents that are waiting at home for the children to return. God, we thank you that you're able to do it. We're believing you in full faith. We're not going to let go of our faith. God, we believe we're standing in agreement knowing, oh God, we're a united front this morning. We are the army of the Lord. We are standing ready for battle. God, I bless your name. I praise is my weapon against the enemy. I will not be discouraged. I won't be caught up. I will trust in the Lord with all my heart, all my mind, and all my soul. God, I bless your name. It is so, and it is done. In Jesus' holy and most precious name, I pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. All right, people of God, I got to go out and get ran over my time. I got to take my baby girl to school so she can go get her education. If you want to sow into this word today, my cash app is dollar sign number four, all dolled up. Dollar sign number four, A-L-L-D-O-L-L-E-D-U-P. I encourage you to put a seed in the ground on this word today. We have been on a destiny broadcast. God, I bless your name. And I just thank God for everybody that is tuned in. And I want to hear your praise report. Don't just not tell us your praise report, people of God. Make sure you inbox me. Make sure you serve. Do a video. Whatever you got to do. But we are excited about it. Come on. God, I bless your name. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm glad you seen that because it's a real thing. All right, people of God. Be blessed. Be encouraged. Have a good day on purpose. What else you going to do? I'm Apostle Julia of Makeover Transformation Church. I'm located in Clarksville, Indiana, but I am moving my own way soon. Hallelujah. I'm moving uh, soon and I'm excited about that. Uh, you also can um, pay through PayPal if you want to sow a seed through PayPal, but you have to inbox me and I'll get all that information to you. All right. Blessings and peace. Have a good day on purpose.